Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Sumai Eye campaign. This is episode 27. We pick it up from turn 135 from the spring season of 318. So last episode, we ended by making peace uh, with most of the factions. We still have war with one small faction. Um, we have a new reform. We picked up this starting to rank for all units, plus 25 experience per turn for units, as well as Yellow Dragon. Um, we're gonna go here just for the one extra army. Also, you know, Protector of Heaven is quite nice. So we're gonna go here for the extra army count, research this, five more turns. Uh, since we are back at peacetime, we have to kind of reorganize our army a little bit uh, for when we go to war again. Um, if we look at the attitude shifts, it's probably going to be Samajong again. So we need to probably put two or three armies up north. And we have one army down south against this entire Din part here. Sima Yu is probably not going to declare war on us. So I feel like maybe all five of the remaining army can be clustered around here. Um, other than that, not much going on. Let's uh, quickly redistribute our army here. This group can go here. Uh, the enemy have a lot of armies still in our territory, but we can pull our guys back, head up, uh, maybe just join them next to them, have another army here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So everyone's around here already. Perfect. And then we have one defensive force in the back. I think we got all the commanderies done. We have 40 food now, so we could consider upgrading some of the things. Um, we also have a Simon open. I, I know where it should go, though. It should go to Nanhai. And it can probably be her. There we go. And what commandery should we upgrade here? Well, our top ones are just totally complete. They're all maxed out. They're all Imperial cities. Uh, even Hepu is an Imperial city. We could consider getting rid of the school and instead build a government support for more food production, which would be actually quite good here. We will lose 14 points of reformation, which is fine. So let's get rid of it. Let's build the government support favoring food production here. Mm. There is a little bit of peasantry in here, so maybe... Yeah, maybe we'll just go 100% food, 100% peasantry. Be flexible both ways here. Uh, Changsha, we don't need to upgrade it. It's not a peasantry town, but it does have one open slot. And if we look at the building trees, we could build... Hmm, we could just randomly build a land development here, but we probably don't need that. Confusion Temple for more income. We'll lose six reformation. 14 minus four. Minus two, so minus six here, maybe not. We don't really need that much, a little bit income. These are perfect. This is not quite perfect, but this is good for reformation. Mm, this is fine. Feels like we can use the food on the ones that are not small regional cities yet. That these look pretty good. 
Right, we can get this to a small regional city. Finish up all these buildings. And then we can add a school probably. Do we need more points? No, we're good right now. So maybe just labor. Now this building will drop our reformation. But I feel like we can afford to right now. It'll run us a nigh. Which is okay. Alright, so maybe we'll go with a school here. To make up for the losses we had there. Ah, and it completed a mission. Good for us. Alright, done. Nanyang. Fulin. We totally don't need this here. Yeah, it's better if this was um, in-building instead. There we go. Ejo's fine, as is. Okay. So we're done with buildings. Everything's built. We don't need to look at them again. Until something changes. Mm, army's good. We could just end turn here. Non aggression pack with Sima Lun. Um, it's a little scattered. Well, Sima Wei doesn't like that, so we're not going to agree to it. Reject. Alright, we have a daughter come of age. Probably not our daughter, it's Sima Ying's uh, daughter. Um, we can't build our relationship with Sima Ying because we have. Royal, so we have to. Uh, Luzhi is not bad. Not a bad choice. Wow, a lot of characters. What happened? Ooh, campaign movement range. That's really good. Um, Luzhi leveled up. Mm, capture officers, quite nice. He has this book already. What about our wife? Ah, uh, she has a bow. That's good too. Um, there we go. She can have this. Increase her happiness a little bit. She's not very happy with us. Alright, she can have a bow. Yeah, that's fine. Who else leveled up? All right, resourcefulness, more assignments. All right, so let's move up into our lumber yard. There's an enemy army here, and there's an enemy army here. And go here. Uh, Alright, these are all friendly now. Let's go up. Let's go up with him. Alright, that's good. All the cities are done. We just look at all the characters and then we're pretty much wrapped for this. We'll start out with him. Oh, we already looked at him. I think we start with him then. 65, I don't even to think about actually. Silver item. Recruit for the item. 39. Anything good? I mean, I don't really see a point of recruiting these guys unless they're like absolutely great. Hmm. Hmm. Loyal. He has armor. 
So oh, that's bronze. 35. Could be a spy. Alright. We'll grab the armor and then kick him out. We don't need characters. We're good. Our family's growing. Thank you for your donation. We'll give it to someone who can wear it. Perhaps her. And we'll kick you right out. Goodbye. And I think we can end turn too. Our right, spy got recruited. Got a new armor. Uh, this one's terrible. This one's definitely trade bait. Three new characters, including a lady who I think has good armor. Yep. I want that armor. Too old. Way too old. Alright, level up here. And kick her right out. There we go. Now with no building needed to be done and pretty much nothing needed to be done with our armies. Really not much going on these these turns. We're kind of just going towards every road. Alright, who took this? Oh, Sumayu just likes us. Interesting. He's willing to sign a peace treaty now. But we want Sumawe to take more of his land first. Sima Lun, Sima Yu, okay. Yeah, not much going on. We could buy some more territory. We have so much money. Um, we should buy Guangling's trade port first. How much? That's reasonable. We simply give him one of these armors we just got. And we'll pay the rest in money. Um, 50,000 too much? What's the max here? Alright, that's close enough to the max. Um, and then we'll give him regular payments to make up the rest. This is our peaceful expansion. Come on. There we go. Alright, quick look at the trade port to see if they build the right variation. Of course not, because they don't have spice. Wait. What happened? What happened to it? It disappeared. That's that's really weird. 11k now, even without the boost. All right, more money here. Oh, there we go. It didn't display last time. Okay, so now we got all the buildings done. Um, we can do more deals actually. Mm, Sima Liang probably don't want to do deals with us. Well, now Sima Ju? Farmland? What? I mean, we want to do deals with Jin Empire, I guess. He has Tongan City. We don't need it, though. We need more food. Where can we get food? Hmm. Nowhere from him. Fishing port, I guess. Yangzhou's farmland looks pretty good. So does Chen here. But he's running out of food too. So he's not going to give it to us cheaply. Yeah. 
It's fine. We'll take what we can here. Although, maybe he's willing to give us this trade port. That way we push him past the border. Yeah, that's not very expensive. And then we'll use cash to make up for the rest. Wow, he's easy to buy off. Wow, he's super easy to buy off. We'll use regular payments for the rest. Get it more exact. Oh, wow. That was simple. All right, so we bought him off. Now, just Sima Jung is really here. Once again, we have a trade port. We want to convert it for our spice. Done. Enemy. Huh. Something to kill. How do we go hunt them down? Let's play the best way. We can march towards them, actually. That's much faster. Alright, so maybe we'll still see some fighting this episode. There's also this enemy right here. But we don't want to trespass. I don't think we have military access. Yep, not paying for it. Alright, next turn. Changle Wang Sima Yo wants non-aggression. I mean, we just traded for it with money. Guess we could have done non-aggression as part of the deal. Um, I guess I'm willing to give it to them. They're part of Sima Yong's, uh vassal. Doesn't really matter. Just ask for some cash back, I guess. Doesn't really matter, I guess. I got a weapon. I think I ended up taking less money than I had on the table. I think he was offering a thousand, then we took three hundred. Alright, we can catch him. We're doing Sima Wei a favor. Alright, this army sucks. We'll burn it alive. We got some movement range right here. This is pretty long distance. Alright, so we get a fight this, this round. This episode. They have no cavalry. So even though we don't have a front line, not a problem. Let's go. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Um, once again, they have no front line. So we can just back off a little bit. I mean, the rain kind of sucks, but really it doesn't matter at this point. We're going to be just pounding them with these tribuchet shots. And then we have these archers. And if they do get too close... We'll have uh, cavalry to charge at them from the side. We'll hide them for now. Perfect hide. These two guys can chill in the back. General in the front. Maybe get a duel off with him. He's kind of weak. So let's start. They don't see us? Is it that far? Well, they're about to enter tribuchet range. He wants a duel, that's good. We'll wait till they fire. There we go. Pound them. Oh god, they got no chance. Almost in range. There we go. Out of the way. We're here to kill your general. And do some splash damage on you guys. Oh, we can't. Freaking strategist is blocking our ability. 
But they're routing. How come? Why are you so scared? Alright. Can do some damage on them. Yeah, they got no chance to make it to our army here. We have so much ammo. And they're not walking very fast. Alright, we're gonna kill him too fast. They got a pretty big sword. About to die. Come on. Stop wasting our health. Finish him. There we go. No? Oh, okay. Nice. Let's get on a horse, kill the strategist. They're still moving so slowly. They're gonna see our cavalry though, with this group right here. We'll just pull them back a bit. It's no rush. Let's kill the general who's almost routed. One whack should make him route. There we go. Now we just kill him. Are we getting surrounded? Alright. He can, they can't catch us. Alright, they're starting to fire at our melee cavalry, which is fine. 65% range block chance, that's what they're here for. Alright. We'll pick on some of the important targets. Cavalry is getting shot at. Keep moving back. Killed one general. Let's chase on some of these units that are routing already. Yeah, they're not going to get very far. Alright, switch targets. Time to charge out before these guys all run away. Yeah, they're not they're not even in archer range. That's how bad they are. Alright, let's see what happens when they all shoot at them. Wow. Okay, we got a chase. Okay. The range units did their job. Uh, we will chase and cut it to the end. See y'all then. Alrighty. Pretty clean fight. A lot of chokehold recently. At least three to my memory. Alright, lost a little bit of men. Uh, captured him. Formidable, tough, and strong. Uh, we'll just do release. We don't need any more characters. We will also take ransom. Alright, that was a wipe. We can now head back towards our newly acquired trade port. It'll take a while, but we'll be okay. Uh, no armor to speak of. 
Got a war blade. Uh, we kill someone in battle. Creative's a good trait. 47, 30. Yeah, not sure if we need any characters. We're just dealing with homegrown characters. Huang Ting Ting. Okay. Get more uh, assignment skills. Alright, he's in position. They're kind of just sitting on the border. This border, I'm not so sure if he needs to sit there. We probably need someone to sit over here. Yeah. Let's go here. And that's it. We can actually end turn after they finish moving. Uh, they want a coalition against Samaya, but I feel like... No, it's not possible. We don't need to co like enter a coalition with them. Yeah, I still want to kill him one more time. Alright, uh, our heir has another kid. It's a daughter this time. Fury, good. Extra charge speed, extra movement speed. These are all good traits. Alright. We're trying to get here, especially with the enemy army showing up. It'll still be another turn. Yeah, but that's close enough to defend it. Let's see how Samawe is doing. Samawe is done. Okay, the Jin Empire took this, and we're at peace with Samarun. Honestly, he has surprising amount of territory. Samawe can keep attacking. I don't mind. I don't actually want to go that north. Um, this army can go here. Do we have any deals with them? No. Okay, so that's good. So we can just basically wait till day 10 turns ish, and then we can declare war without an issue. Level up. Yeah, just more assignments. Speaking of assignments, we don't have any, so we don't need to do anything there. And we can just go to the next turn. Alright, so they now want peace with us. Would Samawe like this? He doesn't mind. We're not bordering anything to trade. Does he have any items? Uh, well, that's a lot of value there on that item. Actually, let's keep fighting him. Alright, we got the reform. We have an extra army now. Ooh, a scholar with remarkable memory asking us to tell stories. Okay, we can either hear about Zhuge Liang, Guan Yu, or Zhang Fei. Um, we want spirit, I guess. We're close to get extra food. Mind wouldn't be so bad either, but enable night battle for all characters. That's an interesting trait. Let's do spirit. Let's hear about Guan Yu. Same as the lore series. Hey, what do you know? This is our lore series. Cool. Got a weapon? Ah, uh, not gold. 69. No thank you. No one has good armor to, to steal. Well, he does have a good armor to steal, so... We will steal that for diplomatic gains. Someone's unhappy with us, but let's take this armor first. And then we're gonna kick him out. Why are you unhappy with us? Um... Hmm. Why do we have you? Alright. You can leave us. Goodbye. And goodbye. 
I mean, we really do want the. There's one county I do want, Pengcheng's、um, temple, right,、um, right over here, because it'll add ten satisfaction. But we can't get that right now. All right, we can pick up a new reform. What do we want? Uh, I guess it would make sense to get this one, but we don't really need those archers. We have way better ones. Diplomatic relationship, pretty good. This is three turns, three turns. Let's work our way down here. All right, so we have a new army slot. What we're gonna do is the expensive route. We're gonna go to、um, Jiangyang, which is where our、um, what is what is this called? The conscription building is located. We'll raise a fresh army here, and then we'll recall it and then deploy it up in the front. Oh, Tengzi is very unhappy with us. I understand why because we've been largely ignoring him since. We he was、uh, our advisor, and then we kicked him out. This would help him if we want to keep him. He's also sixty. I feel like we don't need to do that for him. I mean, you served us so well. We'll just give you a promotion. All right. I think the new army. We're gonna try something different here. Wow. Why is she so low level? All right. We'll get rid of all the sad faces unless I don't like them. Huh. Not bad. Formidable is quite a good trait. Hmm. No rush. Uh. We're gonna put our son out in the battlefield. I feel like. It's time he goes out and fight with such good equipment, and <laughs> no good horse to give him. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna use him and also use yellow dragons. So we're gonna raise him here. And who's your wife? Because I feel like we could do a family thing here. Oh, she is ready a general. Okay. Maybe we can recall her and put her in your army. Where is she? Nope. Nope. Wait, what army is she in? She's in Sima Ai's army. No. Ah,、uh, she's in the defense force. Perfect. Then we can pull her out. Yep, we can pull her out of this force right here. We'll just recall it, yeah, and then we can give them a new one. Different strategies. Our daughter. Hmm. Who is she married? She's married to Ba Pan, right? All right. We can do some interesting reorganization here. Uh, Ba Pan is up in the front, I believe. Right here. Is she married to anyone? Not that I know of, and she's fifty-eight. Okay, so we're gonna pull her out. Um, and then we're gonna give Ba Pan's wife Sima Zhenjin right here, but we need to give her units first. So, okay, it's gonna get a little tricky, but we'll figure it out. We're gonna raise her army here. Wait, why can't I raise a force here? It's not letting me. What if I just recruit her like this? Okay. So we're gonna get rid of these units right here. Give her two tribuches, and then. Four onyx dragons, and then we just simply recall her. 
move her up to the front later. So we took care of that army there. We just got to give this army a strategist. And then we're good. I guess Huang Ningjing maybe. So we'll train her over here so that her units get higher level. Hmm, our son gets along with all the ladies. Same thing, double trebuchet. Obviously this is expensive way to do it, but we're approaching 2 million in gold, so it doesn't really matter. We'll get rid of these guys. And we don't need to recruit any unit yet, because we can... Um, weight on the full recruitment saves money this way not that we've been caring about money that much all right that's a good reorganization there mm. should we chase after this group feels like if we go in the waters yeah we can maybe catch her Hmm. Close enough. We'll almost get there. And I think that's that's good. We can go to next turn. Uh, reorganize all the army. We potentially could reorganize him because he doesn't get along with these two. Yeah, maybe. Maybe now is the time to recall him. Maybe he'll get along with our son, you never know. Do we have any more vanguards? That's the question. At least he gets along with Sima Ai. What's his name? Sima Kui. Oh, he's uh, Sima Ying's son. Okay. We'll give him a chance. Doesn't get along with our son. Okay. Let's see, let's see. J Dragons. 60% armor block chance. 218 charge damage. So higher charge damage than Cataphracts. And much higher range block chance. Higher morale, lower attack rate. So they're only good for a charge. Basically, just, just they're just tougher units. Okay, we'll go with these guys. Haven't really used J Dragon in any of my campaigns, so this is a good time to test things out. All right, they're done. They're gonna go to Sima Ai's army. Uh. Yeah, you get along with Bu Jun, that's good. And then we're gonna give you your wife. Perfect. I think things worked out. Uh, we can go to next turn. All right, another kid comes of age. All right, let's get all the military reorganiza reorganization done. So over here, we need uh, Sima, Gu Gu. Sima Gu, where are you? And over here, we need Ba Pan's wife, which is Sima Zhen Jing. There we go. Over here on the defensive side, uh, it could be anyone. We can leave this last. For him, it's Bu Jun. And then his wife, who is. Wait, who is your wife again? Zhao, right? Okay, it's uh, Zhuo. Zhuo Wanning. Alright, that worked out. And then we give you... Oh, why did I recruit them here? That's so dumb. That was dumb. 
I guess I guess the only reason we could do it and justify ourselves is we spend money and give them level eight troops instead of level seven troop. Cause we were gonna recall him and redeploy him in the front. Alright. This was all planned guys. All planned. It was not an accident. We wanted level eight units. Alright, so for him, we're gonna do J Dragons as well. For her, we're going to do two tribuches and onyx dragons for the units. Alright, it was all planned. It was intended this way. Uh, no front line, really. They don't have the range block. The, the not charge block against mounted. So they'd be terrible against cavalry. Alright, now we can recall this group entirely. And redeploy them in the front next turn. Oh, I realized why I couldn't recruit a new army last turn separately because we were at our army cap. That makes a lot of sense now. They need a strategist. I thought we planned one out for them. Yeah. There we go. Let's chase down this army. Can we catch them by any chance? No. Oh my god, we're always just a little short. Sucks. Any chance we can get more movement on you guys? Mm, nope. Alright, that's fine. We don't have any buildings to do. That's it. Uh, we redeploy our sun maybe here next turn. And uh, that's... All we have to do right now. Sima Lun wants a... Uh, nope, we're not doing any deals with you guys. Alright, Jin Empire declare war on Sima Yue. They got independence. Okay, cool. Um, Bian Zuo. Sima Ting, okay. Another grandkid. S Whoa! This is a late kid. With a new wife. Okay. Statue of Confucius. Hmm, not bad. 51. Not a spy, but we don't want her. Okay. Who's unhappy? Come on. Alright, we'll give you a raise. We'll chase down, finish them off this turn, but not right now. We'll use that to end our turn. Someone else is unhappy with us. Of course. Sire for higher court sibling. Okay, a lot of things going wrong with you. Stay happy. Yeah, we can give you good items. Okay. We can fight that fight, but first we gotta deploy our army here. Maybe Bu Jun should lead it. He's the one who could get reach in that army. Well, I guess the strategist could also get reach. He's two levels away. He can't get reach. And his wife is level two levels away. Okay, so Bu Jin will lead the army. You'll be second, and your wife will be third. There we go. Just replenish. That's actually everything. We just need to fight this fight, and that's it. Uh, where are you going to run? Alright, we'll just night battle and pound them with our fireballs. Alright, we loaded right up. Nice little river. They gave us a little hill too to work with. So this is actually going to work out beautifully. Uh, weather's good too. We don't need to go this far back. We can start hitting them pretty quickly since the start of the fight here. Alright, so that's good. 
Archers right in front. I am confident I'm just going to lay our cavalry out right in front of them as well. Uh, going to go with fire arrows on all these guys. Alright, let's start. Alright, we'll go find ourselves a duel. Close relative, friend, Oathorn. Perfect buffs. Give me that duel. There we go. They put their archers out in the front. Very foolish of them. Alright, let's do it. Knock her down. There you go. She has the tenacity of steel, but I don't think she can beat us. Because she has no items. Oh, they're ready routing. Okay. Full confidence in our tribuches to win this fight for us. Alright, we can watch the fire show from here. And the duel. Ooh. Wow. Our archer is in range. That's quick. Let's kill some of these guys too. Yep. Alright, I think we took out all their range units for this one. Our archers are in range. Fire arrows are gonna... Oh, it's a fire show. The tall grass should catch on fire too. I don't even know if they can make it to where the fire is gonna be. He's not really winning, per se. 3.8? I guess if we use this ability, we kill her. Right, get it done. Take no chances. They didn't kill her? She had armor, okay. Uh, there we go. In the gut. Right, general down. Yeah, fire right here. It's beautiful. Charge out. Do we really need to charge them? Because I don't want to. I feel like they're gonna just die off before they get to us. Yep. I think I'm right. Let's kill these archers. Crossbowmen. Is that a uh, scare? It's not unbreakable. Okay. I mean, you guys are burning alive. Just surrender. Stop this struggling. How are they still? so high in morale and why is the tribuchet stop firing shouldn't they be firing at these guys i don't know still pounding down here they're trying to kill the general all right start chasing these stranglers They are routed. Alright, we won this one. We're going to be doing some chasing. Uh, hasn't given us the win yet because she hasn't routed, but, you know, it's happening. We don't need to be in formation. That way we run a little faster. Wow. That just got wiped. 
try to wipe that unit as well. Alright. We weren't able to chase down everyone, but I think they retreated one, so I think it's over. I forgot they retreated, or else we didn't need to do all the chasing. Uh, we captured her. Composed, committed, perceptive, creative. She's not bad. But I don't see why we need another sentinel. Release. Uh, replenishment because we're in foreign territory. Level up on Sima Ying. Pretty good. Let's see. Let's see. He has some interesting one too. Research rates quite good. Character experience for this armor 10%. Yeah, let's do that. 10% commerce silk and spice faction wide and then we'll get this next. All right, so for this army, I think we'll just go attack the fishing port, grab some of some more food. Uh, why don't we just go into water? Why is it that hard? And that's it, I think. We're resting up over here. All the armies are in position. Mm, we don't have any melee calves, so... All right, let's just go next turn. Hmm, Dong Lai Wang wants to pay us for a non-aggression pack, but they're paying so much money. Just so much money. There's someone else's vassal. Do they want independence by any chance? Oh, they do. Okay, okay, that's good. Now it's a much more doable deal. I don't even care about money. Give me your food. Yeah, give me all your food. Perfect. Alright, so we got another reform done. Relationship. Um, let's go with modest. I like modest much more than vain. Okay, so... We have level ups. Let's take a look real quick. This is administrator. Let's get more arrow damage. And then we have another level up down here. I'll go for judgment. Yeah. Pick a new reform. Yeah, we're just going to go down here all the way to get more ammo and movement range. So we should take advantage real quick of the fact that the Jin Empire is now available to negotiate. They don't like us. Wow, what happened? I guess this isn't happening. We could form a coalition with them. We're at war with mm, not the same people. Why don't they like us though? You know what? When you have problems like this, you just throw money at it till it goes away. I'll actually we just add a zero here. Oh, he wants lots. We want to get it to about 5.0 for a nice relationship boost. Well, that's not that much. Hmm. We can also just go to war with him. Or he, I mean, if he wants to go to war with us, it's fine. Not the end of the world. Okay, that's fine. Let's not mess with him. Um, let's just end our episode here. We're going to start attacking them in the north. We're going to march one army over. And maybe we'll get a war with the Jin Empire. The, we delayed it for the entire entirety of this campaign. I was hoping we don't do it, but if we do, it's fine. Samawe has gained control of the north. He can have the excuse to attack them. He can grab some of this Jin Empire in the corner. We can grab some of this here with our armies going down. 
and then we have one defenses for holding out until we get more help on the way mm, looking pretty good i think uh starting next episode since we don't have a deal with simajo and we can just declare war on them soon it's going to be the 10 turns limit not going to hurt our untrustworthiness and uh we can go rescue our brother so see y'all guys then bye